Last time I saw you, I'm pretty sure there, there was two of these pigs that were, they were going hard. You know what I mean? Like, so hard. <laughs> that is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, what are you looking at? It just, it just, oh, it just, oh. <laughs> what does Valspire mean? Val, yeah, a lot of people don't know what Valspire means. Um, it's basically, I made it when I was like 16. It's a little cheesy, I guess, but I kind of like it. It's the word valor and uh, aspire. Valor meaning with great courage and aspire, which is to dream big. So the whole concept behind Valspire is to dream big with great courage. Um, and then the family was added because my first Valspire channel <laughs> was actually banned because I did a twerk tutorial. And apparently you're not allowed to do that. And YouTube took down my first YouTube channel. So then I added the family. And so now Valspire family is more of like an idea of a bunch of people trying to uh, chase their dreams. What's your biggest fear in life? I don't know, when I was younger, my biggest fear was just like the fear of the future or fear of failure. But I think I've gotten over those a little bit. At least I've been trying to, because why have a fear over something that you can't really control? Like for the most part, it's like, you don't know. The fear of the unknown is like, you don't really know what's gonna happen. So why spend my time and energy being scared of something? So I guess my biggest fear is of the ocean. The ocean's pretty spooky. There's a lot of big sharks. <laughs> sharks are really scary. <laughs> you never know what's below you. That's, the thing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Would you rather live 120 years that are comfortable but boring or live half as long but have an exciting, adventure-packed life? That's the easiest question. I mean, that you you know I've talked about this. Like, if, if I was to die one day, I'd like to be happy with everything I've lived lives up to like if i was to die today i would be pretty happy with who i am as a person not that i want to die i'm just saying like i'm pretty happy with the stuff i've accomplished and the friends i've met and the people i've met there's obviously so much more i want to do but like i'd much rather live an exciting adventurous crazy life than a comfortable long boring <laughs> life easily <laughs> maybe that's a little morbid for me to say but are you scared to grow up i mean i'm not necessarily scared to grow up i think I think there's a big part of me, though, that definitely doesn't want to grow up, but I think that's an important part of me. I think that makes me who I am, like, keeping that childlike, you know, wonder, that creativity. I feel like it's an important thing for a lot of people, so I'm not necessarily scared of growing up, but I definitely don't want to, like, just fully grow up, I guess. <laughs> I like being a kid. Are you a virgin? <laughs> yes, we are children of God. I don't partake in... Kissing, holding hands, looking at women. <laughs> Never done a, a single thing. So I know we're supposed to be shooting a Q and A, but I need I need to show you something pretty cool. My thoughts are What is the craziest thing you've ever done? Like when uh, I used to live in New Hampshire, I this, we, we, uh, we broke into an asylum, mm -hmm. but the asylum was right behind a uh, police station, which is a really dumb thing to, to do, right? Because you can get in a lot of trouble for trespassing. But we had broken into this. We had looked around this huge ass asylum. And uh, after a while, we, we, we were planning on leaving and we walked out and me and my friend, we both had to pee really bad, right? So, <laughs> my two friends walk ahead. Me and my one friend are pissing back to back, and this cop comes out to us, and he's screaming at us. He's like, get over here, or something like that. And I was like, fuck, this cop just saw my dick. And so my instinct is Wait, like... That's the first thing you thought? <laughs> Not, oh shit, there's a cop. It's no. Like, oh shit, the cop saw my dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the cops saw my dick. That sucks. So my my instinct my instinct is to run. So me and my friend both fucking were running from this cop and he was chasing after us through an as abandoned asylum. And we ran to the other side of the asylum. We started sprinting down toward the street, and another cop car 
fucking turns in and starts chasing us back into the asylum. So we're running back into the asylum and the girl I was dating at the time, she runs straight into this pole. She, may, she might have got a concussion. I don't know. But she did cheat on me, so maybe that was karma, right? And then for 45 minutes, we hiked through like swamp water to get back to the car. And then we drove away. And as we were driving away, we passed the, the cop car, one of the cop cars. And then we were in silence. And then after we got past it and the lights didn't turn on, we started freaking out. We're like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> we made it. How do you get through the anxiety over meeting new people and putting yourself in awkward situations? I like to think that, you know, everyone's human. So what am I, what should I, what should I really be anxious about? I mean, the other person's probably maybe just as anxious as I am. I mean, I get anxious. I remember I shot this video a while ago where I, I was speed dating on my campus and I threw up beforehand because I was so anxious about having to meet people. But it's kind of like, what's the worst that can really happen? You know what I mean? Like maybe it's a little awkward for a little a couple minutes, but who the fuck cares? Does it really matter? But uh, usually when in the moment, it's it's easier. And then after the fact, I'm always really happy that I did it. And then overall, it, it helps get over my overall anxiety of meeting strangers. What camera equipment do you use? And what do you use to edit? Okay, so today we're gonna do what's in my bag. This is the camera I use. It's a Sony RX100 Mark IV. This is my camera bag. It holds my camera batteries. That's an SD card holder, a battery charger, a notebook so I can draw really stupid things. This is a must have. Uno, always have Uno. Don't forget Uno. Um, I also carry around tarot cards. I don't know how to use them, but I have them because they're fun. Um, other cards. This is all important camera equipment, let me just say. <laughs> and uh, uh, bubbles. I have a lot of bubbles. Bubbles are important to have. That's what I carry around on a day-to-day -day basis. And for my editing software, I use Sony Vegas Pro. But yeah, it's kind of funny. I, I don't have a lot of camera equipment I shoot with most of the time. It's usually this and a GoPro. Um, like even for my, my road trip with the Stranger video, a lot of people are asking what I used to shoot with. Literally just this camera. I didn't even have a camera stand when I shot that video. I would set my camera up on my bag most of the time. And that was really it. It was very simple. Single question mark? I am currently single. You know, I'm happily single. Relationships suck. <laughs> I mean, no, relationships are all right. If, I mean, relationships are good if you're with... You the know, right person. If, you, if, you're the, if you vibe with the right person and you guys uh, work together as a team. It's hard to find uh, the right person. So as of right now, I haven't been looking for a relationship. Just kind of hanging out and if the right person was to come along and yeah he just doesn't want to admit his love for me brayden we all know he's gay i don't he just love you he just everyone's gonna admit. start to think we're gay they already think we're gay <laughs> well just because i kiss you every day okay you're not on the helping. lips <laughs> you're not helping. like with a lot of tongue you're not helping <laughs> like so much tongue you're not doesn't mean helping. we're gay <laughs> now there's gonna be all these rumors about <laughs> damn it i got bubbles all over myself <laughs> What inspired you to live the life you are living now? I think it was just literally the thoughts I used to have, which were life is short and I want to experience as much as I poss possibly can and just make as many memories as possible. Because I think, I don't know. I don't know why, the, I don't know the purpose why we're here, but maybe that's my purpose maybe that is the purpose maybe that's the only maybe that's the point of life is to just experience life the the people that inspire me the most are like christopher mccandles <laughs> he's like a hero and then my dad who i think my dad has raised me in a way and i think i'm a good person has it affected your mental state positively or like negatively I mean, I would say, yeah, overall, it's, it's, I think it's a pretty positive thing. Um, I'm, I'm overall a, a pretty positive and happy person. I think I'm, I think I, uh, I don't know. I'm happy with the way that, you know, my, I'm happy with the way I've, I've done things. And, like, I don't have any regrets. And I think that's a really good thing. And, you know, getting out and experiencing and doing these things makes me really happy. <laughs> And uh, just having those memories is great. Obviously, like you said, I'm not happy every day, but no one is. It's impossible to be happy every day. 
people that you know preach positivity too much i feel like it's actually worse (laughs) because then people feel like feel like they need to be positive every day and happy or they're living life wrong but that's the thing about being human is everyone has these emotions and everyone's gonna be sad or happy you know at a time and you just have to accept those emotions i'm sorry this is a weird tangent i just went on I mean, my parents think I'm crazy most of the time. (laughs) My parents are telling me not to do stupid, you know. They're always like, Aiden, don't do anything stupid. Like, every time before I go out, because they're afraid I'm going to do something stupid, which they're probably right. And they just care about my safety. But, uh, I mean, my parents are also very supportive of what I'm doing. And and I think they're... um, I think I think they're proud of me. For the most part if you made it this far into the video thanks for watching i don't i don't know what else to say this was very uh i hate i hate q and a's <laughs> this was a very on brand this is on brand q and a the problem about q and a's is like i feel like people ask me questions and and i just i just I don't know a lot of answers about a lot of things i don't know what i'm doing i'm still trying to figure it out myself so it's hard to answer some questions with 100% like, you know, like, oh, this is this is how you live. Because I don't think anyone knows how they live. I, I think it's up in the air, depending on where you are in your life. But um, I hope that my point of view can show you something. But, you know, take it with a grain of salt, I guess. I don't know. Uh, hey, hey, Aiden. Why'd you, why'd you come out of my bathroom? What are you doing? <laughs> Don't worry about that. that that's, that's, not, that's not important right now. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Well, you see, I was scrolling through Netflix, and I pretty much watched every single thing on here, including that really, really bad Avatar movie that you were in, and uh, now I don't have anything to watch. Okay. <laughs> First of all, little. Uh, but, uh, you know, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have a solution for you. Okay, and, uh, wh- what is that? What is that exactly? <laughs> I'm glad you asked, buddy. It's, it's a Nord, Nord VPN. I don't understand. <laughs> no, okay. Can you explain it to it's, me? It's a VPN. I don't know what okay, VPN is. Okay, you, 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 you gotta, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. I don't understand. You gotta stop talking. You gotta stop talking. I don't get it. So I don't I can get explain. it. Have you found yourself bored because you ran out of things to watch on your region-locked Netflix? Well, have you tried NordVPN? It's extremely easy to use. All you have to do is click the location to anywhere in the world that you want to change your virtual location to. As you can see, I chose Brazil because they have the newest season of Rick and Morty, unlike the US-based Netflix. Wow, now I'll never be bored during quarantine. Thanks, NordVPN. Thank you. Thanks, Nord. Get out of my ad, dude. Get out of my ad. Use my link in the description to get a one free month of NordVPN. And thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video.